Now, just to show us there's no hard feelings, we all gonna go out to dinner together. Well, I've got other plans. Yeah, and so do I. Well, you're gonna have to change them. And not only that, you two are gonna drive to dinner together. So you were employed on January 21st, 1969, and continue to be employed until March 14 of this year. Is that correct? That's correct. Are you aware of any devices that were installed in the executive office building office of the president? Yes, sir. All right, folks, here we are, a uh, little town in uh, southwestern Tennessee, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Um, very famous man is uh, from this city, and a lot of people have no idea. Of course, y'all already know, y'all are on the video watching it, who it is, but uh, I've actually stopped and talked, just asking information at a couple gas stations and stuff, looking for some, looking for some uh, behind the scenes information for this video. And at a lot of the gas stations and stuff like that, younger people work in this town, from what I can tell. And not one person knew this individual was from this town, which blew me away. I knew he was from Tennessee. I did not know he was from so close to my house. It's just like an hour and a half away from where I live. But growing up, Fred Thompson, to me, never was like an A-list celebrity. But you knew when you saw him on the video or on the uh, trailer that it was going to be a good movie. That's just me in the way that I feel about him. To me, he was like one of those hold down characters like Denzel or, you know, Mel Gibson or Tom Hanks. When you saw him in a movie, you knew it was going to be a good movie. That's just, you know, once again, that's just the way I feel about it. I don't know if everybody feels that way. But I know he never was like an A list celebrity. But he was born. Once again, very close to my hometown in Sheffield, Alabama. Uh, I think it's just about 40 miles from here. And I don't want to get into all of his life details right now. I'm going to do a, uh, a voiceover, just being transparent with y'all. I'm going to do a voiceover and get it all right. Um, but one thing I don't do is I don't do videos on people that I don't really like. As far as like, if I don't know their information, I won't do it. So... No one can stand out here at this graveyard and quote off all the stuff that needs to be said about a man like this, okay? He's a very established, very professional man, and I'm gonna do him the respect of giving his details correctly. I do know that he had a child pass away back in 2002. I do remember seeing that. I, however, did not know that he attended UNA. I think it was the University of Florence back then, but now it's called UNA. And uh, he attended school there but he was raised here in Lawrenceburg. Went to Lawrenceburg High School. I do, I do know that. And like I say, he was a very popular guy. Very, you know, big man. I think he's six foot three to six foot five. He's a, he's a big fella. But anyways, like I said, I'm not going to get too, too much into all the details. I don't want to mess anything up. I want to do it right. 
I'm walking over to his grave right now and it's kind of some rough roads in this little cemetery so I'm trying not to shake this camera too much but but yeah uh, this is a small cemetery I'm gonna pan around here and just show y'all a little farmhouse over there against the base right behind that tree line there's a big creek I was driving around checking this place out just kind of getting a feel for it you know when you start looking into all these people's lives and everything these little small town stuff like this it's really cool you come out here and you ride around and you look at their look at where they grew up at get a feel for what they saw you know don't sit in the cities in the actual inner city part of it you know I couldn't find where he lived at I, I did a lot of research trying to find his childhood home and I could not find it but I'm sure somebody will do it I'm sure somebody will post in the comments and tell me where it was but I just could not I couldn't find it I wanted to take y'all and show y'all all, all the stuff and uh, stopped at three places here in town trying to get information and nobody even knew who Fred Thompson was can you believe that that's unbelievable I was hoping I'd run into some old-timer might know where he lived might know all kinds of stuff about him but anyhow I'm walking up on his grave right now I'm gonna let me get over here out of the tall grass I'm gonna show y'all his grave and while we do that I'm going to uh, give y'all some information Thompson was born in Sheffield Alabama on August 19 1942 the son of Ruth Inez Bradley and Fletcher Sessions Thompson, who was an automobile salesman. He attended public school in Lawrenceburg, graduating from Lawrence County High School in 1960, where he played high school football. Thereafter, he worked in the local post office and nights at the Murray Bicycle Assembly Plant. Thompson then entered Florence State College, now the University of North Alabama, becoming the first member of his family to attend college. He later transferred to Memphis State University, which is now the University of Memphis, where he earned a double degree in philosophy and political science in 1964, as well as scholarships to both Tulane and Vanderbilt Law Schools. He went on to earn his Juris Doctor degree from Vanderbilt Law School in 1967. Thompson was an American politician, attorney, lobbyist, columnist, actor, and radio personality. A member of the Republican Party, he served as a United States Senator of Tennessee from 1994 to 2003. Thompson was a candidate in the 2008 presidential primaries. He also chaired the International Security Advisory Board at the U.S. Department of State, was a member of the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission, also a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. As an actor, usually credited as Fred Dalton Thompson, he appeared in a number of movies and television shows including Matlock, The Hunt for Red October, Die Hard 2, in the Line of Fire, Days of Thunder, and Cape Fear, as well as in commercials. He frequently portrayed governmental authority figure types and military men. In the final months of the U.S. Senate term in 2002, Thompson joined the cast of NBC television series Law & Order. At the age of 17, Thompson married Sarah Elizabeth Lindsay. Their son, Freddie Dalton Thompson Jr., was born in April of 1960. Son Daniel and daughter Elizabeth were born soon thereafter. The couple divorced in 1985. They have two surviving children as well as five grandchildren. Thompson's daughter Elizabeth died from what was determined to be an accidental overdose of prescription medicine on January the 30th, 2002. While single, Thompson had been romantically linked to country singer Lori Morgan and featured counselor of the president Kelly Ann Conway. In July of 1996, Thompson began dating Jerry Keene and the two married almost six years later on June 29th. 2002. The couple has two children, a daughter Hayden born in 2003 and a son Samuel born in 2006. Thompson was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a form of cancer in 2004. On the morning of November the 1st, 2015, Thompson died at the age of 73 from a reoccurrence of his lymphoma. His funeral was held November the 6th, 2015 in Nashville, Tennessee with Senators John McCain and Lamar Alexander in attendance. He was interred at Mimosa Cemetery in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee that same day. All right, folks, we're gonna uh, wrap this video up right here. Uh, Fred's parents are buried right here over my shoulder. Of course, this is Fred's grave right here. To uh, Fred's family, kids, his wife, everybody, 
Um, thoughts and prayers go out to y'all. Uh, I know, man, he had to have been a, that had to have been a horrific day when y'all lost him. He's such a powerful, I bet he was the glue of the family, I bet. You know, people like him, they kind of stick families together. And uh, anyhow, my, my brain goes into thinking about my own personal family and people I've lost that were the glue, you know what I mean? So, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to get to my room tonight. It's starting to rain on me a little bit here, so I'm going to have to cut out pretty soon. But uh, I'm going to get to my room tonight. I'm going to watch uh, Days of Thunder just for memory of Fred Thompson here. That's uh, that's probably my favorite movie he's in, that or... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that's probably my favorite one he's in. I really like uh, Tom Cruise and just the whole movie. Anyways, back on topic. I'm going to walk away from here. Uh, y'all rest in peace, Fred. Prayers for y'all's family tonight, guaranteed, okay? But I want to talk about something different here, and I don't like doing that around uh, graves like that. I come here for that reason. I feel it's disrespectful to talk about personal stuff at the graves. So anyways, I want to thank y'all all for subscribing, checking out my channel. It means a ton to me. So last night, around midnight, me and my buddy Scott on tape, who were texting back and forth, he was hitting me up. We pretty much were counting every subscriber, believe it or not. We were like 997, 998, all the way up. And I took a melatonin and fell asleep. I got up this morning, I had about a, about 1,010 subscribers, but that was a huge landmark for me. Thank you for being there for me, Scott. Thank you for helping me, push me through. All the other people that have helped, I appreciate it. Uh, definitely a day I won't forget. It's a huge, it was my it was my overall goal to hit a thousand. That's a huge landmark for, for a YouTuber, to hit a thousand subscribers. And uh, I've got a long way to go. I'm nowhere near where I wanna be, but that was big for me, okay? So y'all check me out at uh, Big Bake on the Move at Gmail, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. I'm everywhere, okay? Big Bake on the Move. I'm going to put it on the screen right here for y'all. Just make sure y'all spell it right. Okay? We're going to dip out of here and leave. Go to the next one. I'm on the very first stop of about a four-stop road trip for this weekend. And I look forward to filming every one of these for y'all, man. Y'all hit me in the comments below. Give me some feedback. Tell me your favorite movie Fred was in. All right, we'll see y'all there. Y'all like, share, and subscribe my video, please. I appreciate it so much. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.